Hello, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Update. Thanks for joining us. Hundreds of invited guests from the civil service and the private sector were invited to a welcome reception held at the governor's house on Monday evening, just hours after the Cayman Islands' 14th governor, His Excellency Mr. Martin Roper and Mrs. Roper arrived on island. The swearing-in ceremony took place, followed by the reception, which was attended by Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin, who spoke, along with Deputy Governor Mr. Franz Manderson and Speaker of the House Mr. McKeeva Bush. Various MLAs and senior civil servants were also out to meet His Excellency. During the evening, Governor Roper and Mrs. Roper mingled with their guests, and His Excellency shared his thoughts on being here. A real honor and a privilege for me to be appointed as your 14th um, Governor. Um, and it's a huge responsibility, but also I feel a real sense of duty um, in accepting that role and, and really looking forward to working in collaboration and partnership to enhance the, the security and the prosperity of, of these wonderful islands. Um, and my priority is just to listen. I want to listen and really understand all of you, your views, your aspirations, your stories. Um, and I hope and I will make a contribution, a positive contribution um, to the welfare and well-being of these wonderful islands. On Tuesday morning, His Excellency met with Cabinet Secretary Mr. Samuel Rose and Deputy Governor Manderson. He also sat down with Premier McLaughlin and the Premier's Senior Advisor Mr. Roy Tatum, as well as Matthew Forbes from the Governor's Office. Governor Roper will visit the sister islands this week, as well as meet with other elected officials and tour Her Majesty's prison northward. When Governor Roper arrived on Monday, our CIG TV crew had the opportunity to speak with then acting Governor Mr. Franz Manderson about his time in the role. Let's take a listen. I don't remember any other uh, chief secretary or deputy governor having to act for five months. So it's been a real long time and I'm anxious to get back to my DG's role for sure. I enjoy my deputy governor's role better. Um, I don't think we would we will have a Caymanian um, as deputy as governor in Cayman, I could see that we would have a Caymanian, who is of course British, being a governor maybe in another overseas territory, but it would put significant pressure on a Caymanian to be a governor in in, in their own territory. Mr. Anderson also thanked his staff and elected officials for the support during his time as acting governor of the Cayman Islands. Well, it's been one month since the National Gallery opened another exhibit showcasing local artists. The Big Art Auction 5 will close this week. The exhibition and auction is held in support of the National Gallery's permanent collection development, artwork conservation, and collection-based educational initiatives and related programs. Now, the four-week exhibition featured works by leading contemporary local artists and are now being auctioned at an entertaining Sotheby's-style evening reception now, during the exhibition, curator-led uh, private viewings uh, were organized for potential collectors and interested parties. Again, the exhibition will culminate in an elegant invite-only reception and auction this Thursday. The auction is now in its fifth year. Finally, a reminder to go online to gis.gov.ky if you'd like to take a look at what programs are in CIG TV this week. Be sure to click on the publications link at the bottom of the home page. If you missed our broadcast here on CIG TV, you can still catch it on the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page as well as the CIG Television YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for watching, and I wish you a wonderful night. The Royal Cayman Islands Police Service has launched a new service to apply for a police clearance certificate online. To make this process quick and easy, ensure you have digital copies of all required documents readily available. At a minimum, you'll need a copy of your passport photo page. Our website lists the full requirements. If you are using an Apple iOS or Android mobile device, you can use the camera to take photos of these documents while completing your application. After you have read the instructions and are ready to start, Type in the alphanumeric string from the CAPTCHA image and click the green button that says Start Application. If you can't read the letters and numbers properly, click Can't Read Image below the photo to try again. To complete your application, you will follow five simple steps. These are shown at the top of each page, and the blue circle will always show where you are right now. 
Enter the requested data in each field. All fields marked with an asterisk are required. Each field has some help information, and please pay attention to the correct format for dates and telephone numbers in particular. When selecting your birthday, you can also use the calendar feature. If a field has a drop-down list, you can scroll through alphabetically or start typing to find the correct option. You will be asked to enter your email address twice to ensure it's correct. This is the address we will use to send you a confirmation email and receipt. Once you have entered all of the required information, click Next at the bottom of the screen. If you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. On this page, answer the questions about past offenses, provide details if relevant, and then click Next. In this step, you will select the type of service being requested and details of the person applying, as well as anyone who might pick up the certificate on his or her behalf. If you select certain options, more information may be required at this stage or later in the process when you are uploading your documents. Finally, select the reasons you are applying and then click Next. If you make a mistake, use the drop-down menu to change the reason or click the red X to delete a line. Remember, if you click the Cancel Application button at any stage in the process, you will lose everything you've entered so far and be returned to the home page. If you need to go back to a previous page to review or change data you already entered, you can use the Back button. You can also navigate through the process using the links at the top of the page. On this page, you will be asked for the relevant digital documents to support your application. On each line, click the Upload icon, select the correct file, and then click Upload. Repeat this process for each document. Based on the information you've already entered, this page will tell you the basic documents required. However, please remember to read the guidance notes to ensure you've included everything for your particular application. You can click the Upload More Documents button if you need to add more files, using the Comments field to briefly explain the additional documents you are submitting. If you go back to previous sections after uploading documents and make changes that affect these requirements, you may need to re-upload your documents. This is the final page before submission. Please review all information provided to ensure it is accurate and complete. You won't be able to change anything on this page, but you can use the back button or the links at the top of the page to return to earlier pages and update any field. By submitting this application, you are declaring that the information provided is accurate and truthful. If you are satisfied with your application, click Proceed to Online Payment. You may need to allow pop-ups and then click the button again to show the payment screen where you will enter your debit or credit card information. The Cayman Islands government accepts Visa and MasterCard and you can use a debit or credit card issued anywhere in the world. Payment will be processed in Cayman Islands dollars for local service and in United States dollars for overseas service. If you have questions about any exchange rate that will be used or foreign currency transaction fees, please contact the bank that issued your card. The Cayman Islands government will not receive or retain your card information. Once your online payment has been authorized, you can view and print your receipt. Click Continue to return to our webpage for details on pickup date and time. If there is an issue with your application and we have to contact you for more information, your application may be delayed. You will also receive a confirmation email with this information and your official receipt. Please remember to bring your passport for identification when you collect your certificate from the Criminal Records Office.